Hello and welcome to another update video about Dogecoin. We take a look here at the chart on the four hour time frame. Yeah, in my opinion, the yellow count is still in control. The bearish count, there is just, especially with the latest decline here, there is still short term upside potential there. Yes, so, so far Doge hasn't used it. It even broke below the channel support, which is quite a bearish sign. Now, it is um, still possible to have some short term upside here. But as you know, I've been very skeptical <clears throat> towards any bullish outcome here. So I said at best we get here some short term upside in a C wave because this move to the upside um, was so far very short. Yeah. And if I consider this a larger decline, like indicated here, a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, four, five, then this wave two that we've seen here. Yeah. If, if I was to say wave two finished here, that would be quite short. Um, it would only be like the 38.2 FIP retracement, which is quite short for a wave two. So primary expectation has to be to go a bit higher. And um, if we look at this here, we could say that this is an A wave, a B wave and a C wave. And within the B wave, we had here, um, so basically wave A top tier, and then we had A, B, C in B. And shortly we could expect a rally in three uh, in C. Um, but the further we come down, the less likely this obviously gets. If we look at the FIP levels for this B wave, we've already come down now to the 61.8% FIP level. That's still okay. But if we go any lower, I mean, ma absolute maximum, I would sort of allow it to go to is the 78.6% FIP level at 7.8 cents. If it goes below that, I think we have a direct sell off going on here. Um, looking at the sub waves, if I say, okay, we had here the B wave, then we say A, B, C, then we're now in the C wave. Maybe we had here a small one, two setup. This might be the three. Now we've got a four and then a one more leg down. But then at the latest, it should move to the upside in C. If it doesn't do that, we've got a the direct sell off and that would just confirm my higher degree assumption that Dogecoin is not in a bullish setup here. Yeah, in the previous video, we said if it gets above 14 cents, we could consider something more bullish. But until then, the primary expectation has to be that we come down lower. And yeah, I gave you now the key support level where we can still find support in wave B. If we break below that, we've got one more chance here at the seven cent level. But if we lose that level, key support is in the four to five cent area for wave three. Yeah, okay, and that's my update about Dogecoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.